Hey guys, welcome back to Berenice's Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to multiply and divide in scientific notation. In our previous video, we learned how to add and subtract in scientific notation. So today we're basically applying the same concept, except our operations are going to be multiplication and division. So let's go ahead and do an example. Let's say we have 3 times 10 to the 5th power multiplied by 4 times 10 to the 8th power. Here we have two different terms in scientific notation. We have 3 times 10 to the 5th power and then we have 4 times 10 to the 8th power. Remember that scientific notation is just a simplified way of writing a large number. So 3 times 10 to the 5th power is actually one number and then 4 times 10 to the 8th power is another number. But we've just written them in scientific notation to simplify them. Now in order to multiply these two numbers, first we need to combine like terms. Now here we don't have any variables, but remember, our exponents, with the same base of course, which is 10, are different terms and our constants are different terms. So in this case, our constants are 3 and 4, and our exponents are 10 to the 5th power and then 10 to the 8th power. In order to multiply these, we're going to multiply the constants by, the, by each other and then the exponents by each other. So we're going to multiply 3 times 4 in one set of parentheses. And then we're going to multiply the exponents. And remember, they always have the same base. So the base is always going to be 10. So it's 10 to the 5th power times 10 to the 8th power. We know that 3 times 4 equals 12 times 10 to the 5th times 10 to the 8th. Remember that the properties of exponents is that when you have the same base, which in this case is 10, and you're multiplying the exponents, all you're going to do is add the exponents, so the 5 and the 8. So the base is going to stay the same, which is 10, and you're just going to add the exponents, which are 5 and 8, which is going to give you 13. So the product of 3 times 10 to the 5th power times 4 times 10 to the 8th power is 12 times 10 to the 13th power. And this is our solution. All right, now let's go ahead and do another example, which is slightly harder than this one. Now let's say we have 4.3 times 10 to the negative 2 power times 6.2 times 10 to the 6th power. Remember, first we need to group these together. So we know that our constants are 4.3 and 6.2. And our exponents with the same base. Remember, the base is always going to be 10 in scientific notation. We have 10 to the negative 2 power and then 10 to the 6th power. So we're going to write this as 4.3 times 6.2 multiplied by 10 to the negative 2 power times 10 to the 6th power. So first we're going to multiply 4.3 times 6.2. So let's go ahead and do the multiplication over here. 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 2 is 8, add a 0 and move on to the second to the tenth place value. And we have 3 times 6, which is 18, carry the 1. 6 times 4 is 24, times 1 is plus 1 is 25. You add them together and you get 2,666. But remember, don't forget the decimal points. So we have 1 and 2, so we're going to move it two places and we get 26.66. And that is what we're going to write over here. But now remember one thing. When you have scientific notation, you always want your constant to be less than 10. And in this case, we have 26.66, which is obviously not less than 10. In order to make it less than 10, we can move the decimal, the, the decimal point one place to the left, which will decrease its place value. So when we do that, we get 2.6666, 666, sorry, three sixes. So we get 2.666 times, now here we had 10 to the negative 2 power times 10 to the 6th power. Remember, we're still going to add them together, 
So negative 2 plus 6 is positive 4. So we would have originally gotten 10 to the 4th power. But since we moved it one decimal point, but we moved, since we moved the decimal point one place to the left, this means that we basically multiplied it by 10 to the 1 power. Because 26, so we got 2.666 times 10 to the 1 power is 26.66. So remember, we can't forget the 10 to the 4th power, so we're basically going to multiply this by 10 to the 4th power. The 2.666 is going to stay as it is, and our exponents are going to add 4 plus 1, which is 5. So our new exponent with the base of 10 is 10 to the power of 5. Therefore, we get our solution, which is 2.666 times 10 to the 5th power. So this is it for multiplication of scientific notation. Now let's do an example that involves division. Let's say that we have 3 times 10 to the negative 7th power divided by 9 times 10 to the 4th power. So when you're dividing, you're still going to do the same thing, but you remember, you have to group them first. So you have 3 times 10 to the negative 7th and 9 times 10 to the 4th. Instead of multiplying, you're just dividing, but we have to group the constants and our exponents. And in this case, we have 3 and 9 as our constants and 10 to the negative 7th and 10 to the 4th as our exponents. So we can write this as 3 divided by 9 times 10 to the negative 7th divided by 10 to the 4th. So we have, now that we've grouped these together, we can simply go ahead and divide. So we have 3 divided by 9, which is, of course, we could simplify this to 1 thirds, or 0.33. So let's just write this as our decimal, which is 0.33. And then we have times 10 to the negative 7 divided by 10 to the 4th. Remember, when, you're, when, you, when you have exponents with the same base and you're dividing, you're going to subtract the exponents. So you're going to do negative 7 minus 4. Negative 7 minus 4 gives you a negative 11. So you're going to get 10 to the negative 11th power. And that is your solution. 0.33 times 10 to the negative 11th power is your quotient for 3 times 10 to the negative 7th power divided by 9 times 10 to the 4th power. So this is how you multiply and divide in scientific notation. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you guys next time. Bye!